toys in the world. I've got the kind of toys that you would love to play with. And, uh, well, maybe one day you will. Apart from all the things that I've got in amongst me over here, what I've got is a very special thing called Ronald the Rover. Now, let's go and look at Ronald. Well, let me tell you quickly what Ronald is. Ronald is a, a robot, basically. Sometimes we have a camera view of him, but I don't think we do today, do we? No, we don't have a view of him just yet. He's a, a little robot about that big. He looks like a little tank. You know what a tank is? He looks like a small tank, and he's got a camera on the front of him, and this is what he can see. And there he is. And he can drive along. And what he's going to try and do is go and wait at the waterhole to see if that monitor lizard doesn't come down and say hello to him. He's always looking for friends, is Ronald. You can see he's very lonely. He doesn't have many friends at all. And there you can see his shadow. <gasps> Look how clever he is, you see. I thought he might fall down there, but he didn't fall at all. He's very clever. Here's my friend Ronald. And so he's going to make his way slowly down towards the dam. And by the dam, I will show you what that means now. We'll just have a quick look there. Kirsten, can we have a look at the dam, please? There is the dam, and Ronald is making his way down towards the dam. And with any luck, we will see him in that picture. Well, if not right now, certainly the next time you come across to see him. And there's somebody controlling that camera as well, so there's a whole lot of amazing toys we have going here. And there's Ronald making his way down to the water. He'll get there eventually, and hopefully that lizard will come and say hello to him, because he doesn't have any friends at the moment. And there is the damn camera view you can see. I still can't see Ronald yet. I think he's sort of just underneath that picture. Anyway, we will hopefully get a view of him too. Now, what he's doing you can see that there is a huge amount of grass. You see that Ronald's traveling through the grass there, but he's like a little tank, as I said, so he can just keep going. And he is operated, oh, let's have a look here quickly. He's found a termite mound. Ronald's found a termite mound. Now, in a termite mound, everybody, live lots of termites. And termites, of course, as you well know, eat wood, and they're very, very nasty to have anywhere near your house. But you know, in the bush, well, it's quite special to have them in the bush because they make up, they eat more than all the elephants and impala and rhino and buffalo and all the antelope species that we get here. They eat more than that. There are so many millions of them that they eat more than all the above ground animals. Oh, Thomas, you ask a very good question. You say, has any animal ever tried to eat Ronald the Rover? No, no, Thomas, no one's tried to eat him, but he has had a problem with an elephant once or twice. He was kicked into the water by an elephant, a very cross young elephant bull, and Ronald was just minding his own business, sort of looking at the terrapins in the waterhole, and an elephant came past and kicked him into the water and we had to take him apart, blow dry him, buy a whole lot of new pieces for him and now you can see he's okay and I wonder can we see him yet from the dam cam? No we can't, he's staring up at the dam cam but he can't, we can't see it yet. Now Caleb you want to know how much Ronald costed, or costed, how much did Ronald cost? Caleb, uh, I don't know actually, I think probably in the region of about 55 US dollars. That's rubbish. He probably cost at least sort of, put all his bits and pieces, probably about 500 dollars. So quite a lot of money, in fact, even more than that, in fact much more than that, probably about a thousand US dollars. Quite a lot, isn't it? Anyway, he's very clever. You can see he's a very, very brilliant creature. Right, I think we'll drive him now back towards the water. There we go. You can see him turn. Oh, he's going the wrong way now. There we go. Now he's going back towards the water. Now look, he's driving through all this grass. And this grass is particularly important because we're going into the dry season. Our dry season, everybody, is when you guys have your wet season. Oh. I just wanted to show you those flowers. Do you see those flowers? Those flowers at the top there are the last flowers we're going to have this season. We're going into winter. And those flowers are called Waltheria, 
and they're the very last flowers that we're going to have this season and then we're going to go into winter <gasps> look how ronald oh he's like a tank look at him go we don't want to run over all the flowers though do we now he's going to get lost now what i want you to imagine everybody is that you are a tortoise do you know what a tortoise is sometimes in the u.s they're called turtles but a tortoise or a small mongoose, or a small antelope, or even that water monitor, that water monitor walking through the grass here, this is all they could see. Now, if you were a water monitor and you were walking through the grass and this is all you could see, don't you think it would be dangerous? Well, it would be dangerous, but that's why the water monitor was walking on the road. And that's why it doesn't walk through this grass, it walks on the road. Now, the McIntyre School, you're wondering what a terrapin is. McIntyre School, a terrapin, whoa, dear. <laughs> a terrapin is like a turtle, but it doesn't live in the sea. It lives in fresh water. Now, I'm going to see if we can't get down towards this water. Oh, we're at the water. Look, we're at the water already. I can't believe it. Look at that. Now, Ronald is not waterproof. Now, if we just let him sit there for a little while, a terrapin might pop up. There is a terrapin. Is that a terrapin? Look to the left-hand side of your screen, everybody. Let me just turn him slightly. No, I don't think there's a terrapin there. I think it might be a stick. Oh, now, Ethan, you want to know what kind of cool animals Ronald's seen. Ronald has seen amazing animals. He's seen baboons. He's seen lions. Lions came to see him one day. Uh, what else has he seen? He's seen plenty of buffalo and hippo and kudu and nyala and elephants, as I told you. So he's seen all kinds of animals and lots of birds. And sometimes mongoose come and say hello to him. So he's got lots and lots of friends sometimes. But today... He's got no friends. He's all on his own. Hopefully that monitor lizard will come down and say hello to him sometime soon. And then we can see what the monitor lizard thinks of him. Maybe even some elephants will come down towards this area and we'll say hello to them too. In the meantime, Byron is out searching in the bush to see what delights this wilderness has to offer. <laughs> 